But if we look at it nationally, there are Trump persuadable voters in states that matter. And I would argue that it is going to be white progressive people who we should expect to deal with those people, to do the persuasion. That persuasion doesn't necessarily happen from campaign ads and, and billboards and TV. Some of that persuasion happens from actually talking to people. And if people don't want to do that, there's persuadable voters out there that we're not getting. So as a movement, as an anti-racism movement, as a white ally movement, we need to cultivate the capacity to talk across that divide on difficult issues. We need to talk about that across that divide on race. If we're gonna move people's opinion on race, we need to talk across that divide about politics if we're gonna change this election. I just wrote a book about this. Before we end, the book is called Compassion Transform Contempt. It's all about how do you talk across that divide when the subject isn't race, I've written four books about that, when the subject is politics or the election or whatever. That it is on white folks, white progressive people, to do that, that talking across the divide. We know friendship groups are segregated. The vast majority, overwhelming portions of, of, of Latino folk, black folk, white folk, your friend network is the same is the, is the same people so and white folk more so than people of other other groups usually have people in their circle who look at the world differently look at race differently look at politics differently so it is the people on this call who have the ability to shift public opinion and shift elections if y'all can figure out a way to engage people instead of throwing them away or deciding we just can't talk about that because it's too difficult. You have the power, if you develop it, to have these conversations go a lot better, to have them be connecting and actually to be persuasive, but you have to do some internal work to do that.